New bridges in Lee County are now open to traffic after more than two years of being closed. WGEM's Shaquille McCammock reports from Fort Madison. Jackie Thompson has lived in her Fort Madison home since she was 17 years old. Thompson says living right next to the bridge as it was repaired for almost two years was a pain. And it was just constant noise day and night as long as they were working it was boom 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 and it was it was really bad and the dust was flying I mean I couldn't open any of the windows you know the dust was so bad and the yard was fenced off so we had to mow around the fence but city officials say the work was necessary we ultimately improved the structural capacity um, by doing that we're not going to be as restricted with our load limit as what we had to be before with the bridges in poor condition Fort Madison Public Works Director Mark Buslow says the project cost about $2 million in federal funding, and he says the weight restrictions that were previously on the bridges are now lifted. So the bridge is a complete replacement. Um, everything from the old bridge was removed. Uh, we were left with an opening in the road, um, and then basically brand new everything from the sheet piling supporting the bridge all the way up. He says he hopes Fort Madison residents appreciate the bridge replacements and Thompson says she's glad to see construction complete. It's wonderful. It's so nice and smooth and it's it's not high in the center like the other one was. The other one was really high in the center and this one's not. Shakela McCammick, WGEM News, Fort Madison. If you see sidewalk closed signs near the bridges, Buslow says they will remain closed for the rest of the winter season. He says construction crews should be finishing those repairs when the temperatures warm in March and April.